ChatGPT announced their new model, ChatGPT 4.0, and my mind is blown, y'all. <laughs> so this new version of ChatGPT can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text, and it's so good that it will literally change your life and your business. So in this video, I'm not going to bore you with technical data, but I am going to show you what it does and share examples of how you can use it in your business and personal life. So this video is a bit different from what I normally post, but this is just so amazing that I had to share it with you guys. So whether you're a business owner, content creator, or just someone interested in AI, this is the video for you. This new version of ChatGPT is faster and more efficient than the previous model. And guess what? It's free. All right, so let's jump right in and go through all of the upgrades. So the first major change is improved vision. You can now upload photos, screenshots, and documents containing text and images and chat about it with ChatGPT. So for example, you can ask it to help you understand the document, calculate expenses, calculate business profit and loss, and so on. Check it out. I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one sentence overview of what you see. Plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. It even interacts with video, so for example, you can show it an equation and it will either help you solve it by giving you hints or solve it for you. What do you get when you subtract one from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on! Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course! Where was this when I was in high school? <laughs> you can also show it your product, your website, your office, or your surroundings, and it will see what you're showing it and comment on it. So, for example, you can even show it your outfit and it will give you an opinion. Check it out. I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair. So it can find ways on how you can improve the look of your product, your packaging, or even your website. It can also tell you what you're looking at. So for example, you can show it landmarks, plants, animals, and it will tell you all about it. You can also show it an activity and it will tell you what you're looking at. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food. And then yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is a signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. And not just that, you can chat with it about it and ask it additional questions and it will give you all of the answers. Another cool thing you can do is share your screen with it and it will see what's on it and understand it. I was wondering if you could help me with a coding problem today. So I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period. So it's able to read code, analyze data, and give you a summary. It will help you understand charts and answer your questions about whatever it is that you're showing it. It will also create charts for you and so on. Another thing that blew my mind is its speech capabilities. You can now basically talk to it like it's a friend because it has an improved voice mode. It's faster and it also picks up on emotions. Hey, so I'm on stage right now, I'm doing a live demo, and frankly I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome! <laughs> Just take a deep breath, and remember, you're the expert. Its voice is also much more dynamic and it mimics emotions. Well, in a few minutes I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> 
Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? It can, for example, read a story and you can ask it to be more dramatic. It was a robot named No, no, Bite. no, ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. You can also ask it to change its voice to whatever you want, and it can even sing. And so Byte found another robot friend, and they lived circuitly ever after. So for example, you can ask it to sing a lullaby about whatever you want, and it will actually do an amazing job. A lullaby about majestic potatoes? <laughs> now that's what I call a mashup. Uh, let's do it. <clears throat> Oh, majestic potato in the moon salt. Another amazing thing you can do is serve as a customer support. Check this out. Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? Of course. It's 1029384. Another way you can use it in your business is to make it a moderator at your Zoom meetings. How crazy is that? Interesting points. Sounds like we've got a classic dogs versus cats debate here. I can see the appeal of both. Lillian mentioned she likes dogs. Anyone else here team dog? It's going to talk to everyone like it's one of the team members and it will remember the names, ask questions, discuss things with you and even summarize what happened in the meeting at the end. How crazy is that? Check it out. Can you summarize this meeting for us? Sure. So, in today's meeting, Lillian and Christine expressed their love for dogs, highlighting their loyalty, companionship and how great they are with kids. On the other hand, Ola prefers cats. Another amazing thing it can do is it can be a real-time translator to both languages. So you can basically talk to someone in a different language and the AI will translate for both of you in real time. Check it out. Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le equazioni limiari. But what do you think? What are you going to be using it for? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because the next video is going to be about ChatGPT 4.0 for business owners and content creators specifically. So how you'll be able to use it in your business and content creation to be more efficient. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!